So I just met this cute girl from my school on TikTok. I'm gonna message her right now. She actually replied to me. I'm about to ask her out on a date. All right, what is YouTube? It's your boy Ron here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, and use code Ramani in the item shop. And with all that being said, guys, let's get into this video because I have an absolutely insane video here for you guys today. And when I say insane, I promise you guys will be surprised about what goes down in this video here today. So just the other day, I was on TikTok scrolling through my 40 page just like I do every other day because I mean, at this point in quarantine, I literally have nothing better to do. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Besides the new season of Fortnite coming up. It's literally the only thing I do. I know it's pretty bad. I'm basically addicted to TikTok at this point. But anyways, like I said, I was scrolling through my For You page, as you guys can see. And I mean, it was nothing special. Like, I was just seeing some girls doing their thing like they always do on TikTok. And I saw some funny memes. But then I saw this one TikTok of this blonde girl that really caught my eye. And it's this one that's on your screen right now. And I know some of you guys may wonder, like, what's so special about this TikTok? At first, I didn't know why it caught my eye. But then it hit me. I recognized this girl off the bat. But I wasn't quite sure just yet so i decided to click on her profile and look closer and as i was looking through some of the tiktoks like it just confirmed to me like she is the girl i'm talking about she is bella and once again i know some of you guys may wonder like who's bella and why she's so special well she literally used to be in my math class in school a year ago and on top of that she isn't just any random girl i mean there's hundreds of girls that went to my school but the thing about bella is me and her actually have some history and i mean as you guys can probably already tell like she obviously is very cute but there's more to this story so then i finally decided to mess and see what's going on i replied with one of her own tiktoks and said wait hold up is this bella like the same bella that went to montgomery high school because i swear i remember you being in my math class i mean you're probably not even gonna see this but if you do please reply because i swear i remember you and one thing i have to say is like she wasn't my girlfriend like this is not my ex-girlfriend and i'm not messaging her to like get back together with her or anything like that but she was in my math class and we did talk a lot but then after that class like i never ever spoke to her again which is actually pretty sad and to be honest i I wasn't expecting her to reply to me because she has 250,000 followers like there's no way she's gonna see my message but to my surprise she actually did and she replied saying yup it's the same Bella and don't worry I remember you too my friend used to have a huge crush on you in semester one I don't think we've ever even talked before how did you even find me question mark and I mean I don't know why she's saying me and her have never even talked before I swear I'm not making that up I would never do that I guess it's been over a year so she probably doesn't remember us talking that much but I swear she literally used to sit right beside me in math class and we used to talk all the time but i'm just shocked that she doesn't remember so we're off to a bad start but don't worry because i'm gonna get this in the bag i reply saying i knew i wasn't being dumb and no we definitely have talked before i remember sitting next to you in math class but i was just scrolling through my for you page on tiktok and i randomly found you i mean you have over 250,000 followers you're basically famous like i don't know what it is between me and famous tiktok girls i guess she isn't as famous as lina but 250,000 followers is a lot of people if you think about it that's why I wasn't even expecting her to reply to me and like she's got to be the most famous person that went to the same high school as me but here's when things started to get really crazy because she replied saying no oh my god please don't watch my tiktoks that's so embarrassing I don't want to be considered a famous tiktok or anything like that I find it so gross I just started doing it for fun and my tiktoks just started going crazy viral so here I am and I'm not too sure about that like I've been around this tiktok game I've talked to like hundreds of famous tiktokers and they all say the same thing they all say they just started it for fun and their tiktoks started blowing up so they just go with it which is not true like trust me these famous tiktokers love every single minute of fame they're getting and i mean can you even blame them so i replied to her saying i mean even if you don't want to be considered it i'm pretty sure you are a famous tiktoker no wonder your video showed up on my for you page that's why i was lucky enough to find you but i mean it's been a while i was on your account and you haven't posted on tiktok in like over a month why question mark and that was sort of suspicious like if you take a look at her tiktok account her last tiktok right here was posted literally over a month ago which is weird like these tiktokers usually be posting like five times a day and hers was over a month ago and trust me guys like like i said before i've been around these tiktokers and this isn't how they work something isn't right here and just take a look at what she says next she replies saying i usually don't tell people this but since i know you why not i'm basically i was just getting made fun of a lot for posting inappropriate tiktoks to the point where i couldn't take it anymore everyone started saying i'm not the same person anymore i lost all my close friends too and i mean that's a pretty crazy reason to lose all your 
your friends just because you're posting quote unquote inappropriate TikToks. Which I mean, how inappropriate can TikToks even be? They're literally 15 second dances to random songs. So I don't really get what's going on. So I reply saying, oh man, that sucks. I get how you feel though. I feel like I went through the same sort of thing as well myself. But trust me, it's just a phase. It always gets better. But I mean, I didn't see anything inappropriate. What kind of TikToks are you even talking about? But I mean, who knows? Because I was just on her page for like literally 15 seconds before I messaged her. I didn't go through every single one of her TikToks. I'm obviously not a creep. So there probably are some TikToks that some people might think are inappropriate. And I was right because she replied with these two TikToks. And she said these are two most inappropriate TikToks. And before I say anything else, I'm going to let you guys judge for yourself. So let me know what you guys think about these two TikToks. Roll it. Like, wait, what? Those are not inappropriate at all. The first one, I don't understand whatsoever. Like, there's nothing bad about that. I see things 10 times worse than that on my 40 page every single day. But I mean, I guess she could be talking about the captions of the TikToks itself. I don't really see what else she could possibly be talking about. But then she replies under that and says, I sent you a couple just to name a few. There's a lot more I have on my page that I deleted because of all the hate comments I got used to make me cry a lot. Please don't make fun of me or judge me. I'm actually not like that in real life, I swear. And I guess that makes much more sense now like she deleted the ones that were inappropriate and those are just the ones that she thinks are inappropriate now which are not that bad but maybe the ones that she deleted were super bad and that's why she had to delete them so i reply saying what those aren't inappropriate at all i mean i've seen hundreds of videos like that on my 40 page literally every single day don't worry about the hate just ignore it i already know you're a good person i told you i used to sit by you in math class i'm surprised you don't remember but here's when the situation gets way more insane she replies to me saying oh thank you but yeah, it's probably because all of high school I was in a relationship and my boyfriend never used to let me talk to any guys except him. Even if I looked at a different guy, he'd get all mad and make a scene out of it and make me feel worthless. So I just didn't do it. And as soon as I read that, I thought she was literally describing my life. I mean, I feel like I've been through the exact same relationship like five times. And if any of you guys out there are in that kind of relationship, like get out while you can. Otherwise, it might be too late. But I mean, I guess that makes sense. That's probably why she doesn't remember me. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty sad that she didn't even even know we used to talk but i mean that does answer a lot of questions like she used to come into class crying and like sad all the time and it's probably because of her boyfriend so i say i mean i know this might be a little sensitive and i probably shouldn't be asking you this but is that why you used to come into class crying sometimes i'm sorry for asking but i remember at least once a week you'd come into class looking like you had been through a roller coaster and trust me when i say this guys like like i told you i used to sit beside her and there used to be days where she'd come in tears down her face like her makeup is all messed up and it almost used to look like she got beat up or something but I, but obviously that wasn't the case or was it because she replied saying yeah i know you're spot on that's exactly why and even till this day i haven't fully recovered and opened up like i once was before all that used to happen he used to make me cry so much and always blame me for being a crappy girlfriend and how i didn't deserve him and as soon as i read that like i literally started getting so angry because like no girl should get treated like that i mean that's just flat out disrespectful and not okay so i say i hope it isn't like that again and don't mind me asking but are you still dating him or are you single now because i'd imagine i mean after all that surely you still don't like him he was obviously over the top toxic no disrespect to him but that's no way to treat a girl like you and i'm not gonna lie to you guys i was sort of trying to shoot my shot to see to see if she was single or maybe she still had a boyfriend i was hoping it was leaning towards the single side because i might just step in because i have been feeling a little bit lonely lately and i mean me and her already know each other so it's that much easier and then she messaged me back with literally exactly what i wanted to hear she says no way the day i got at high school i broke up with him because i knew i wouldn't have to see him again in my life we dated for three four years and i hated it i felt like a prisoner but why are you asking if i'm single though you want me or something like what is it that obvious how in the world does she know that i swear some of these girls be crazy mind readers like all i said was are you single and she already knows i like her like how does that work i mean i ain't no simp i gotta take a step back so i say no it's not like i want you or something i barely even know you all i know is that you're a cute girl who used to sit beside me in math class 
I was just curious and all, and I mean, I'd be pretty shocked if you were still in that relationship with your crazy boyfriend. And I think I made a mistake because, oh my god, just take a look what she says next. She replies saying, oh, so you think I'm cute? Question mark. Well, guess what, boo? I'm single. So if you want to make your move, go for it. But I have to warn you right now, if you're anything like my last boyfriend, it's a no. And secondly, I'm really into older guys. Wait, wait, wait. That second part caught me so off guard. That doesn't make any sense. She just said, I'm single and wants you to make your move. But then she said, she's really into older guys and I'm not no older guy. I mean, I was in her math class. We're the same exact age. So is that her way of basically saying, no, she doesn't like me? Like, I'm so confused. So I messaged her back saying, I wasn't even saying I want to make a move. But if you say so, I guess why not? I was just saying you're cute because, I mean, it's pretty obvious. Look at you. But what do you mean you're only into older guys because me and you are the exact same age? How would that work? And once again, my mind was absolutely boggling. Like, what is she talking about? On one hand, she's saying, I want you to make your move since I'm single. And then she's saying she's only into older guys like pick a side what are you talking about i don't get these girls but i guess she did pick a side because she replies to me saying have you even well my tiktok account if you did you would know that and then she replies with these two tiktoks and i have no words guys just take a look at these tiktoks and judge for yourself roll it do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head <laughs> Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? Uh, what? Please tell me I'm not the only one seeing this right now. When she told me she's only into older guys, I thought she meant like guys that are five or six years older. Not goddamn Barack Obama. I mean, this dude is nearly 60 years old. She's 18. Nothing is adding up here. And to make it even worse, she replies under that and says, I mean, as you can clearly see by those TikToks I made, I'm only into older men, not little boys my age. But you know what? There's something different about you that I like, so I'll give it a shot. And at this point, I'm thinking to myself, like, I don't even want a shot anymore. My competition is Barack Obama. I'm done for. Like, I can't be the only one that thinks this is slightly weird. So I say, wait, hold up. You have a crush on Barack Obama. He's literally 60 years old. I mean, he's a good looking dude and all, but like, you're 18 years old. What's wrong with you? You surely can't be dating people that are 40 years older than you. That's just weird. But for some reason, she thinks that's completely normal. She replies saying, I told you I've never dated an older man because I was stuck in a three-year relationship, but that's what I like. If I had a chance to talk to Barack Obama oh my lord I don't even care that he's married I'd make sure he would leave his wife for me and have him spoil me like I deserve to be spoiled for the rest of my life and I mean at this point I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys like I've read some crazy things in my life but nothing even comes close to as what I just read from Bella right here and to think this whole time I was thinking to myself like she just seemed like a regular innocent girl who got her heart broken in high school I never knew she was like this so I reply saying okay you know what at this point I don't even know what to say to you. I thought you were just some innocent cute girl in my math class, but little did I know you were the complete opposite with the freaky side and you're into basically grandpas. I mean, you do you. Nothing wrong with that, but wow. And trust me, guys, I got nothing against Barack Obama or older guys in general, but I was just completely shocked. Like, it caught me very off guard. But if that wasn't already crazy enough, she says, that doesn't mean I'm not into guys my age. Obviously, I can't marry a 60-year-old. I mean, how would we even have kids? I'm just young, dumb, and I want to have fun. So what are you saying? Do you want to hang out or something? Because I haven't hung out with anyone in ages and I'm so bored. Like once again, I'm so confused. She just told me she's only into older men and now she's asking me to hang out because she's bored and it sounds like she might even like me. Like I don't know at this point. So I'm thinking to myself like, do I take this opportunity and do I hang out with her because she literally just asked me? And the answer is yes. I would be an idiot not to take this opportunity. I'm 100% doing it. So I say, I mean, why not? I didn't even think you like me considering the fact that I'm not sick. 60 years old with white hair and my name's not Barack Obama, but hey, I'm not complaining. Let's go watch a movie. Be ready in an hour. I'm coming to pick you up right now, boo. And right after that was the part where I expected her to say this was all a joke and she didn't like me and how she's still into older guys. But nope, that wasn't the case. She replies saying, hey, I didn't say I liked you. I just said I'm willing to give you a shot because there's something about you. I don't even remember what you look like, so it'll be a fun surprise. And whoa, one hour is so quick. A girl's got to look pretty. See you in two hours, boo. And I 
mean, I guess it's on and I guess me and Bella are going on a date and maybe she doesn't like me now, but trust me guys, I got my way. I'm gonna make sure this date ends up just how I want it to. So I replacing, all right, have it your way. It's gonna be a date though, so don't think otherwise and no funny business. I got a weird feeling about this and she says no promises. And I mean, I guess that was that guys. Like I'm literally getting ready to go on this date with Bella right now. I'm pretty sure I might actually even be late, but before I go, I need to say I had this idea where I might actually film this whole day for you guys because I feel like you deserve to see it. So let's make a deal. If this video hits 10,000 likes, I'll record this whole day with Bella and upload it as a vlog on my channel. But only if it hits 10,000 likes. And also make sure to follow my social media because I will be posting some updates on there as I'm on this day. And with all that being said, guys, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications. And it's been your boy Armani. I'm out. Peace.